Enjoy all these great shows from Giant Monster Productions. Tales of the Monster Hunters. Tales of the Monster Hunters Serial Box Issue. Tales from Tuxedo City. Tales from the Author. Starbusters. God Creates Monsters. Kaiju Protection Force and Dorian Kane. All available wherever you get podcasts. The following program contains mature content matter. Listener discretion is advised. Presented in Monster Skull! Giant Monster Production presents... Since the dawn of time, the world has been plagued by demons and monsters, cloaked by the night and shadows. However, humanity found out about these creatures and sent out brave men and women to defend their homelands. These are the tales of the monster hunters. Nothing like a good cup to get your day going. Don't you mean cup of tea? That is what I said. No, you said cuppa without finishing your sentence, when in fact, if you did not want to sound crazy, you would have said cup of tea. Oh, sorry, I do not want to sound crazy like you. Um, Bruno? Yes? Can I talk to you in the bedroom, please? Okay. <sighs> Bruno? Don't forget we have to meet Patrick and Mummy's virgin. I know, Mom. I'll see what Regan wants and get dressed while she's talking to me. Uh-huh. And the fact you're only wearing boxers leads me to believe talking may not be the only thing on her mind. I'll tell her we don't have time for that. <laughs> yeah, right. I believe that about as much as I believe my willy will start working again. What's up, Regan? It's a good idea for you to go back out in the field so soon after your coma? I'm not going hunting. We're going to a specialty shop Naveen told us about that has something we need that will help us stop a white werewolf. A white werewolf? Yes, they're very rare, but more bigger, vicious, and stronger than a normal one. What is it at the store you need? I'd rather not say. It's pretty gross, really. Oh, Bruno. Be safe, sweetie. I'm fine, Bella. Never better. Are you sure? Or are you just saying that to humor me? Reagan, if I wasn't feeling fine, would we be able to go into overtime? Overtime? <laughs> oh dear. <sighs> I knew it. Where are they? They should have been here 20 minutes ago. Did you want to call them again? Uh, no, Reggie. I can only listen to that fucking egotistical message so many times. What the? What did you do to Fred? I've dressed him up. I see that. Why, Fred? Because, Juggles, unlike yourself, Bruno is more thoughtful than you and does want to keep carrying me around in a backpack. Uh, aren't you concerned people realize he isn't really who you're dressing him up to be? For the exception of us, no one else has figured out that you're a dummy yet, so I think we'll be safe. Okay, fuck, whatever. Can we take Mrs. Doubtfire and get this over with? Well, if anyone knows a thing or two about dressing up in women's clothes, that would be you, Patrick Doubtfire. Welcome to Rodney's Erotic Cakes and Balloon Sculptures. How can I help you all today? Are you sure this is the right place? This is where Naveen told me to go. It's the only place in the city that sells what we need. Whoa, it's like I walked into a Willy Wonka's factory. I'm getting a little choked up here. Look at the size of that chocolate lollipop. It's huge! And look at those nuts. Are, 
Are you guys not seeing all this? Fuck's sake, Reginald, keep your hands in your pockets. So, now that he's done desecrating that cake, how may I help you? Our friend Naveen said that you might be able to help us out with a special item we might need. What kind of special item can I get you today? Would you like me to set you up with a beautiful erotic cake or some balloons? No, no, nothing like that. We're really more interested in something a little bit more mm, exotic. Naveen says you keep it, you know, in the back. And why would he tell you that? Because we're hunters. Ooh, can I be the prey? What was that? Oh, why didn't you say so? Come with me. Come on, guys. But what about the chocolate lollipop? You two go on ahead. I'll stay here and keep an eye on him. So, what are your names? I'm Pat, and this is my twin brother Bruno. Really? You're twins? He means we can't be twins because I'm so gorgeous. What's the password? Holy fuck. Pat, look at the fucking size of this guy. He makes the Incredible Hulk look puny. The Wicked Witch is dead. Well, here you are, fellas. Rodney's House of Garden Gnomes. What the hell is this? We're looking for werewolf urine. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. You should have been more specific. <laughs> I have many special items around here, if you know what I mean. Wink, wink. <laughs> Blimey, are these vagina cakes? Uh, Fred, what are you thinking? I'm thinking a lot of things right now. Mostly about having a non-working willy. You know, a duff dick. A pointless plastic penis. Wait, Fred, no. Here we are, Bruno. Hello, I'm still here. Holy shit, Rodney. Quite the setup in here. Oh, you should see the inside of my condo, darling. Hey, Roddy. What's inside this jar with the triple X written on it? Oh, my. You don't want to get any of that on you. Oh, no. Just let me put this back in the fridge. Why is that? That is the scent of sex. Extremely dangerous. You get any of that on yourself and the sex demon horny appears and takes you away to have sex with her. You're making that up. I am definitely not. How long does this sex last for? Oh, it depends. On what? How much of that scent you dare put on yourself. Many have come back completely mad, others never to be seen again. Hurrah, and I dare say, if you get any in yourself, it would not only be horny, it would take you away. Mm. Can we get to the matter of why we're in this funhouse, please? So, what are you going to use this werewolf wee wee for? We're hunting a white werewolf. Did you say a white wolf? Are the acoustics bad in here? Oh, sorry, I can't sell it to you. You have to leave now. What? Why? Oh my, it's too late. Too late? He knows? Who knows? He knows you are hunting him. Who is he? The doorman who let you into the back room. He's a white wolf. You, you have a werewolf working here? That's your concern? Not the fact this fucker can change during the day? Why not? One doesn't discriminate, darling. But how would he know we were looking for him when we didn't even know he was even working here? We're hunters, Bruno. I'm going to take a wild stab and say he's puzzled it together. Fuck me. Fuck. How long do we have until he breaks that door down? I don't know. No werewolf has ever tried to break it down before. Our weapons are in the car. That's strategy now. Roddy, Roddy, do you have any weapons back here we can use? In the basement. Please tell me we can get there from here. Uh, no. What are we going to use when it breaks through? Harsh language? Did you text Reggie? I can't. Why? He has my phone. <clears throat> Why does he have your phone? Because I have no room in my pockets. Let me ask. Why in the fuck don't you have any room in your pockets? Gee, I don't know, Pat. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I have a sandwich bag of wipes and one... Hand sanitizer is another one, latex gloves is another one, in my wallet, so please tell me, where was I going to put it? Oh, oh, I'll tell you where you can put it. (laughs) 
too bad you weren't like MacGyver and your crazy ass would figure out how to make a weapon from all the shit in your pockets. Good thing I had sex before I left. Is that why you were late? I also stopped for gas. Lawrence, please don't do this. Me no hurt you, Rodney. Step aside. Think you'll be gentle with us? Yeah, I'm sure we're fine. Shipped our fuckers fast. We just barely avoided it. Thank you for pointing that out. How are we gonna stop it? The fridge. What about it? Keep him distracted for a moment. I have an idea. Oh, shit. What do you think you're doing in the fridge? I'm getting horny. What? No, you can't. Put that bottle down. Um, if you and your boyfriend are done arguing, could you please stop and help me? Please? Hey, furry. When was the last time you got horny? What have you done? No. How long has it been since you've been late? Horny! <laughs> Fuck me. The picture here gets lost in the dark of those headlights. Oh, He's fucked now. Do you boys know what I was getting for a single drop of that stuff? I'd say a lot from the look on your face. Uh, are you guys okay? No, stupid. The werewolf got us. Uh, Reggie? Where's Fred? You swine! You ate all my troll chocolate! How dare you, sir? I will not let you say another bad word against this woman. Is it bad that he ate all that chocolate? I couldn't help myself. Oh... It was so good, Bruno. Made me forget I didn't have a working willy. I jolly well hope you can pay for it. It's only chocolate, Roddy. How much could it be? Considering it is made by trolls who only produce so much of it, and this ogre just went and ate a box of it. I would say he owes me $200. For a box of chocolate? Yes. I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry, Charlie Bucket. You don't have to pay him. How do you figure that? Hmm? We just saved your life from that white wolf. So I'd say we're even. You're welcome. Even? Lawrence was never going to hurt me. But if he would have hurt me, would you have been able to live with yourself? Why wouldn't I be able to live with myself? Uh, here goes the shirt. Just think of how you'd feel if the beast got his hands on all this. So are we good? Huh? We're good. Let's get out of here. If only I had a potion that would make him appear. <gasps> well, that went well. Who cares? We stopped the white wolf, did we not? That'll make the old man happy. I guess. Guys, I don't feel so good. Wow, really? Who would have thought it with all the chalk that you ate? Oh shit, I'm gonna puke. Well, sucks being him. See you later. Where are you going? Home. What about Fred? What about him? Well, aren't you going to take him with you? Pat, he can't come in the Mustang now. He's puking his guts out. What? Drop him off once you've cleaned him up. I can't believe this. Oh, I don't want to clean up puke, Pat. Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter because I'm not doing it. <sighs> okay. But it doesn't mean we can't have some fun at Fred's expense in the meantime. How so? I know. We tell Fred the real reason he's puking is because of the secret ingredient that the trolls put in their chocolate. It has nothing to do with how much he's consumed. And he does have to eat x lax to rid himself of that chocolate before it makes him even sicker. <laughs> Wouldn't that just be cruel? Oh, and it's okay how cruel he is to you? I'll go by the x lax
Tales of the Monster Hunters, Rodney's, was voiced by Antonio Ferrara as Bruno, Enzo Ferrara as Pat, Paul Cairns as Reggie, John Kennard as Fred and Rodney, and Chrissy Talon Sage as Reagan. Music by Alexander Ferrara and Technoax. Tales of the Monster Hunters. Created by Antonio and Enzo Ferrara. Directed and produced by Antonio and Enzo Ferrara. Cover art by Enzo Ferrara. Editing and audio engineering by Antonio Ferrara with special thanks to Jim Kogan, creator of Strange New Worlds and Spaced Out Tales. Written by Antonio Ferrara. This presentation of Tales of the Monster Hunters has been brought to you by Giant Monster Productions. Copyright 2024. To contact Giant Monster Productions, email them at giantmonsterprod at hotmail.com. Follow Giant Monster Productions on Twitter at Giant Monster Pro, Instagram at Tales of the Monster Hunters, and on Facebook and YouTube. If you have enjoyed this podcast and want to hear more, please subscribe, like, and favorite so you never miss an episode. Thank you for listening.